Ladies and gentlemen, the pleb is back in this report. Well, things are hitting the fan for Justin Trudeau as reports are now leaking that liberals are asking him to resign and they even gave him a deadline date of Monday, October 28th. Also tonight, Pierre Polyev drops a massive bombshell at today's news conference where he says that liberal MPs are secretly telling him that they will vote non-confidence against Justin Trudeau if he doesn't get rid of the carbon tax. You won't want to miss this report. Stick around. Before we start this report, please double check if you're still subscribed. I'm currently being shadow banned here on YouTube and people are having a hard time finding my videos or getting notifications for my latest videos. So if you want to help me and support the real news, please smash subscribe and let's start the report. Welcome to your Thursday report. We got a lot to cover here on today's episode, but we got to start with a heartwarming story. Now, if you've been watching my channel, everyone remembers this moment where Pierre Polyev recognized me and told me to keep up the great work for the things we do here on this channel. Hey, guys. Hey, keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, guys. You hear that? Keep up the great work. Keep up the great keep work. The great Let's bring it home. Let's bring it home. The pleb. The pleb. Oh. Yo, I just got a shout out from the next prime minister of Canada. Let's go. Now, I'll never forget that moment because it was validation that they are finally listening to us, that they listen to the little guys and not just the mainstream media. Now, this moment happened for another YouTuber today. His name is Damani. I've been promoting him on X, telling people to go subscribe to his channel. His interviews are the best. It's at D-I-M-A-N-I-I-I -I 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 on YouTube. Everyone give him a sub. Now, this kid has great content. I mean, I knew it the second I saw his first video. His interviews are kind of wild. They're entertaining. They're fair. He talks to everybody on the streets. And I am not the only one who recognized this kid's talents because guess what? Pierre Polyev called him on the phone to tell him to keep up the great work. Listen, keep up the great work. You're off to an excellent start. And uh, you have my cell now, so if there's anything I can do to help you, don't hesitate to reach out, Dawson. Yes, sir. Okay, many blessings yeah. to you. Yeah, also, before you go, uh, which video have you watched so far of mine, if you don't me asking? It was the one in so, uh, Brampton, right? There was one There was one in Brampton uh, There, where you were walking around asking people who they were voting for. I think I watched Toronto as well. Oh, yeah. There was one where you were, there were three guys standing, you, and that's where you gave me your endorsement because they were asking you who you were supporting, and you said you would support me. Yeah. I thought this is a great guy. Um, and then I, I think it was, I saw you in Nathan Phillips Square, was it? Near the city hall at one point? Yes. Am I wrong on that? Yeah, yeah it was there, I yeah. I saw you there. So, yeah, I've seen you, I've seen a number of your videos. They're very good. I like wow. your style. So I know it's long form, but people like that. <laughs> Yeah, they like it the like Yeah, they do, they do. I mean, I like his style too. The kid has talent. What an amazing moment for Damani receiving a call from the next Prime Minister of Canada. Awesome. And after getting this phone call, Damani admits that he is still in shock. I was in shock too. I even made a weird noise like, ah! Yeah, at least you didn't make a weird noise, Damani. Good job. And the owner of Canada Proud, Jeff Ballingall, nails it here, saying this is the future of politics. Pierre gets it. That is 100% correct. The future is social media. The future is YouTube. And the smart ones recognize it, like Pierre Polyev does. And even Donald Trump, who managed to turn around people's opinions on him by appearing on YouTube videos, streams, and podcasts. This is the future. So Pierre Polyev listens to his people, and someone who doesn't listen to their people is none other than Justin Trudeau. As reports are now coming out that Justin Trudeau is being demanded to resign by Monday. Yes, liberal MPs have given PM Trudeau an ultimatum. Decide whether to stay or resign by October 28th. Per the counter signal here, Trudeau given October 28th deadline by liberals to quit. 
wow, do you guys think he's actually going to go through with it? According to the National Post, one liberal MP said that the disgruntled MPs are quite intent. The development comes after a near four-hour open mic caucus session among liberals where a number of them stated that they want their leader to step down. As many as 40 MPs were reportedly prepared to demand new leadership during the event. Oof. Trudeau was seen as flamboyantly brushing by reporters after leaving the chaotic meeting, bobbing his head with a Conor McGregor-like swagger. He told reporters the liberals were strong and united without stopping to take questions. And another juicy bit of information here from the article saying later on Wednesday, speaking in the House of Commons, conservative leader Pierre Polyev said that some liberal MPs were texting conservatives from the bathroom, giving them updates on the situation. Damn. So there's now moles in the liberal party who are feeding Pierre Polyev info. Damn, we got some people wanting to jump ship. To date, the nine year and three time elected prime minister has vowed to continue on as the party leader into his fourth election slated for October 2025 despite abysmal polling numbers including one that indicates the majority Canadians want him to resign but to keep it real with you guys I would not hold my breath here we all know Trudeau is a massive narcissist he's probably not going to step down and that's good for us I want him to stay on as leader I want him to get crushed in the next election. I want him to be humiliated like he's never been humiliated before. Hopefully, the narcissism comes through. Now let's move things back over to Pierre Polyev, who was holding a press conference today in response to Justin Trudeau. And if you guys watched my video from earlier today, Trudeau announces that he's going to make big cuts to immigration. And here is what Pierre Polyev had to say. Today's immigration flip-flop is a massive admission of failure by Justin Trudeau. Facts. An admission that he's not worth the cost or the corruption. With his own MPs working to throw him out, and less than a year from the carbon tax election, Trudeau has suddenly admitted that radical, uncontrolled immigration and policies related to it are partly to blame for joblessness, housing, and health care crises. In fact, let's remember, after nine years of Trudeau, we have one in 10 Torontonians lined up at food banks. Mm -hmm. We have 1,400 homeless encampments across the province of Ontario. Two million Canadians have to go to a food bank every month. Scurvy is making a comeback. We have the worst economy in the G7. Everything is broken. And his immigration minister admits that the that immigration is out of control after well, duh. <laughs> for nine years of liberal policies. They increased population growth by 200% over the last several years alone. Now, Trudeau called anyone who disagreed with these radical policies racist. Now he's the one cutting immigration to call to, to pull back on the disastrous mistakes that he made. He called everyone racist who questioned the immigration, right? Are we, we, let's call Trudeau the racist now. Yeah. But worst, he destroyed the best immigration system mm. in the world. A system that had a common sense consensus of conservatives and liberals for 150 years. Immigration was not even controversial before Trudeau came along. How did he do it? He left Roxham Road open for a year after President Biden offered to close it. He removed the visa requirement for Mexico, which caused an explosion of false and fraudulent refugee claims. And he allowed rampant fraud and abuse in the International Student Program, mm -hmm. which has seen as many as 26 kids living in one Brampton basement and countless losing their lives to drugs, gangs, and other chaos on our streets, sent back in body bags to, to countries like India. He allowed ISIS terrorists into Canada who then went on to try and attack Jews and other Canadian citizens. He's presided over a 251% increase in, in hate, police reported hate crimes. None of these decisions, by the way, were designed to bring workers to help with the COVID labor shortage because none of those programs are labor programs. Roxham Road is not a labor program. Mm. Refugee claimants are not part of a labor program. International students are not supposed to be for labor, but for study. Correct. 
Correct. And they're being used as slaves in Tim Hortons. This is not the way it's supposed to be. So this excuse is t total nonsense. Trudeau's last minute pre-election reversal cannot be believed. <laughs> he can't fix the immigration system that he broke. Correct. And he now says he's going to cap Im immigration. Well, what else has he said he's going to cap? He said six months ago he was going to cap the number of temporary residents in this country to 5% of our population. Since that time, it's gone up to 7.3%. He said he'd cap the carbon tax at 11 cents a liter. Now it's 17 cents and he plans to quadruple it to 61 cents. He said he'd cap this year's deficit at $40 billion. It's already $47 billion just six months later. You can't believe anything he says, especially when he's claiming that he will fix what he broke. Common sense conservatives will fix what Trudeau and the NDP liberals broke. We will restore the best immigration system in the world. We will stop the illegal arrival of false refugee claimants by securing our borders. Yes, yes. No more fake refugees. Did you hear that, guys? Did you hear that? No more fake refugee scammers coming in, scamming their way in here. Only the best and the brightest. And I'm on board with that. No more scammers. System in the world. We will stop the illegal arrival of false refugee claimants by securing our borders, our ports, and our airports. We will end the abuse in the temporary foreign worker program, the international student program, and the refugee program. He finally says it. Good. No more fake refugee scammers coming here to this country. It's time to start bringing the best and the brightest. You can't just scam your way into Canada and be used as a slave after. This whole system is broken, and I appreciate Pierre Polyev for wanting to fix it, bring some normalcy back, and get rid of these fake scammers going through these fake schools. Enough is enough. And in our last clip of the show here, Pierre Polyev dropped a huge bombshell here at this press conference, admitting that liberals are secretly texting him and saying that they will vote non-confidence against Justin Trudeau if he doesn't get rid of the carbon tax. Watch. Yes. Have you, have you had any conversations with disaffected liberal MPs about them starting to vote with the opposition or crossing the floor? We, I have had conversations with numerous uh, Liberal MPs. Some of them say that they're worried that the carbon tax will cost them their seats and that they want to vote against Trudeau's radical plan to quadruple the tax to 61 cents a litre. Um, and the, some of them might even be willing to vote non-confidence in Justin Trudeau if that issue comes up again. Obviously, the next election is a referendum on Trudeau's 61 cents a litre carbon tax and countless Liberal MPs have told our caucus that they're terrified they will be demolished by voters at election time if they vote to cripple our economy with that tax. Wow. Well, things are about to get entertaining here in Canada with a potential Trudeau resignation on Monday. And now we're hearing that liberal MPs are secretly texting Pierre, trying to save their behinds. One thing is for sure is that things are about to get fun. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up here. But tell me in the comments down below, do you think Trudeau may actually resign by Monday? Could this actually happen? I want to hear your feedback on it. Also, let me know what you thought about Pierre Polyev's comments on immigration. Do you agree with him? Does more need to be done? I want to hear feedback in the comments. If you guys enjoy my work and you want to support my channel, the best way to do it like, share, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about The Pleb, buy a $5 Canadian membership. My name is The Pleb, and I'll see you at the next report. Peace.